Good evening everyone out there in reproduction game world. My name is Daddy P, not 3D, as you probably already know. Uh, I'm here this week with some very exciting gaming news. As you can see, you're looking at Super Metroid Dark Home Hospital, uh, made by Cloud14 over at Metroid Construction. And just want to throw this out there, you know, for my little bit of swag. I think I have the only version of this on cartridge on the planet. So get your hands on this quick. So let's get right into it. Uh, what do we do here? You want to start at the beginning? Uh, yeah, why not? We can start at the beginning. Anybody familiar with Super Metroid knows this is all pretty familiar stuff here. So this is a complete from the ground up hack of Super Metroid, like I said, by Cloud14. This game just got finished recently within the last month. And uh, we, we have it here. Flashback Entertainment has it already. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the only place that you can get this on cartridge anywhere. You know, this is something that is going to be it's going to be a big player in the in the world of games. I think. I mean, it's the new coolest thing out there, as everything else goes. You can see a whole new look already. Um, so I'm I'm probably about a half hour into the game, maybe a little bit more half hour game time. I've put a couple hours into play, I guess you could say. And you can see, you know, with wall jumps and... I don't even have a ball. That's awesome. Let's get a ball. Physics and everything remain unchanged, as far as I can tell, at least for now. Uh, I know later some of the items are different. You can see the doors are a little weird. But it's a dynamic ball. You know, stuff like that. But this, like I said, I've played a couple hours into this, and this game is awesome. Hmm. Let's see if we can do a mock ball for all my speedrunners out there. I don't know. <laughs> uh couple things to talk about for sure. Uh, Flashback still going strong. Partnering up with GGN, Gamer Geek Nation. Uh, my boy over there, DVR. You should be seeing uh, their first big Flashback review pretty much when this goes up as well. And, you know, hopefully he hooks me up and puts this on the front page of the site again. That that did some, some good stuff for my video. The, the Mario video. That, that shot up to 100 views pretty quick. And I, I just gotta say... And I'm sure I've said this before. The support in this, I guess, community is probably the best way to put it. The gaming community has been insanely good recently. I mean, you guys are so awesome. It's unbelievable. I love all you guys. All my new... I have so many new subscribers and followers and likes on my Facebook and, you know, followers on Twitch and and Twitter and that kind of stuff like that. I mean, there's just so much going on. You know, and, you know, guys, you feel free to give me your opinion on this, but I really think, I mean, I just really feel like, you know, I'm a car salesman by trade and training, but I kind of feel like maybe that's not the end-all be-all of life anymore. I think, you know, with, in regard to gaming and games in general and relating to people and, and it's all this kind of stuff put together i really feel like i, I might have found something for myself to kind of strive towards you know in the gaming business i'm not sure what it is yet where where that chip will fall as they say but it's everybody that's watching these videos and liking it and commenting and all the subscribers and all the support on ggn's facebook which i'm extraordinarily active in lately i've been putting lots of cool stuff up there you, you guys are the best. I mean, you guys make me feel like I'm doing something here. Eh, what else? <laughs> um, today is the 11th, as I'm recording this. We should, uh, 
be seeing the next big, big release from Flashback coming soon. That's uh, Zelda and the Ancient Stone Tablets Master Quest. Which, you know, you might be telling yourself, yeah, another Zelda hack, which, you know, they're all awesome anyway, so who cares? But this one is uh, definitely a notch above anything you've probably ever seen. And we will be doing a video probably with GGN on that. They're going to do a big review of it, I think, when it's ready. So we'll see how that goes. So this game, you know, since we are previewing that, you can see Dark Home. You can see the map. Oh, there's save points in there. I gotcha. From what I've gathered, yeah, the nurse suit. Dynamic ball. Everything has its own name. Everything's different. Um, this is Dark Home Hospital, so it is a hospital. First and foremost, and from what I can tell, each layer or level has a color. This one, blue. If we go down, as I said, I'm a little bit farther. This one's red. And I think it's green after that, and white after that, and whatever after that. But anyway, it seems like every every le level of the game has um, something you can break or interact with that's going to open, I think, the level below. Uh, I'm not sure if it's always the level below or if there's something above or, or what's going on there, but it's it's an awesome game. I mean, Cloud put a lot of work into this game, and you can tell. I mean, everything, just from all the, everything's different. I mean, this, this isn't reusing anything from the original game, really, other than, you know, beams and, and looks and doors and stuff like that obviously are, are somewhat similar but as far as layout and level design this is completely from the ground up so if you're looking for something that's a little bit different that's going to give you some challenge it's definitely difficult it gets a little harder once you start you know getting getting you can see there's no enemies or anything right away so I mean, it's it does seem more like an exploratory type game when you're first starting to play it but but it is awesome it really is awesome. I like it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I had to say. There, here's your speedrunning trick. The mock ball. Let me see if I can throw one in here real quick for you. I don't know if you hang on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, give you a little bit of lore from the speed running world of Super Metroid. A mock ball is the key component, other than, you know, wall jumping. To doing a successful speed run of the game. Here, I'll teach you how to do it. So, you see, if you normally jump, or you go and turn into a ball, you lose all your speed. If you do a mock ball, which I can't seem to do, well, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, anyway, even though I can't seem to do it on here, a mock ball basically keeps your running speed so you can get, you know, there's certain places that you can get in Super Metroid faster, a la the Super Missiles and the Ice Beam, which you can get way earlier than you're supposed to, which essentially breaks the game where you can do it super duper fast. Anyway, we won't go much farther into that. You can refer to my Super Metroid speedruns for a lot more information about that, and I'm, I'm pretty good at that, so. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Mm, 
I mean, anybody new that's watching this, I'm, uh, I'm pretty active in the gaming community. Uh, be sure to check out my Facebook, my Twitter, my Twitch. Subscribe on here, comment for anything else. Uh, I do admin at Flashback Entertainment's Facebook page and gaming or uh, Gamer Geek Nation's Facebook page. So you can always reach me on there, and I'm always trying to, I guess, kind of show people what the next big thing's going to be. I mean, I guess you'd argue, you know, this isn't Call of Duty or anything as far as retro gaming is concerned, but in our world, this is this is big stuff. You know, combine that with the other stuff you've seen lately, that BS Zelda and uh, the Mario and the Yoshi Island mystery. There's some very intelligent people out there making some games. And they are a lot of fun. There's a lot of ball stuff going on here. <laughs> so, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, at this point, I mean, if anybody wants to comment on the video, what maybe other types of games you'd be interested in as far as hacks and fan maids and stuff go I mean and, and be creative even if you don't know if there's a hack of something out there I mean if you're if you're a fan of Mega Man or Metroid uh, as this is or Zelda or Mario anything really I mean I think there I think I can probably find something for pretty much anyone that's wants to see something related to what they're interested in just leave it in the comments send me a message whatever Easiest way to get a hold of me is on Facebook. If you go to my Facebook page, it's just Daddy P, not 3D. It's in the description at the bottom. Uh, flashbacks page is at the bottom. Gamer Geek Nation's at the bottom. What else is in there? Music from Smooth McGroove or Daniel Tidwell, depending on who I decide to edit this video in with, will also be there. Dark Home Hospital. It's available right now along with everything else you've seen lately, Yoshi, Island Mystery, um, and BS Zelda are all available on the website. And, and do me a favor, guys, go check on the website if you really are interested in these games. I know most things in life you can go on eBay and buy cheaper. You know, why, why pay retail? Well, a couple of reasons. You know, you support the people that make these types of things. We, we do compensate a lot of our... I guess, I mean, you can call them hackers. I'm not sure what they like to be called, but, you know, we, we do have partnerships with a lot of people that, you know, provide this type of stuff and content. And also, in this unique situation, if you go on eBay, you're going to pay way more for these games. This game would be $100 plus on eBay, no question. And we sell it for 60 bucks, And that comes in a painted cartridge, guaranteed to work within a few days of your order. And, you know... All that kind of stuff like that. But before this turns into an infomercial, uh, I think I am done, I believe. Uh, trying to think of anything else I want to talk about. Yeah. I mean, I'd start talking about magic, but I don't know how much you guys care about that. Just opened my Born of the Gods booster box, and it was awesome! Yeah. <laughs> Nerd fest over. Um, let's see. Well, I'm Daddy P, and this is Samus, waving bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh. Yep. Later, guys. <laughs>